everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I'm your host, Basan Fei, and, well, let's see. I think it's time we have Tali over. But I just, I want to make sure no one else, I have saved the best for last. All right. Yay. Hey, got any plans for the evening? No. I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. You remember that line from Fleet and Flotilla? Shalai and Bellicus on the balcony. I don't think I've ever seen that. Did. What? You've never? <laughs> How could you not have? Well, I know what we're doing tonight. Yeah, Shepard. How could you not have seen Tali's what favorite movie? We can never be together. Oh. I have my duty, and you have your people. Not tonight. Tonight, I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. No. Oh. You watch this a lot. With the lovers from two different worlds? Every time my friends and I had a sleepover, we memorized the lyrics from the musical. Oh, no. we can activate sing-along mode. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Let the moon shining light at her lovers with its rays. Though I know that Unmasked, I feel your skin on mine. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's that's kind of. was not expecting that. I had no idea you were so into this. This vid FTL jumped me into puberty. And who doesn't love a good cross-species romance? I want you to see behind this mask. I want you to see who I truly am. You've used that line on me before. Yeah. Works for me. Hey. Oh. oh man, I was not expecting that. I definitely don't remember Tali singing. That's a door. Oh. But hey, at least like the apartment's pretty clean. Yeah, no? Um. All right. Um. Oops, not what I want. think I have anyone else to meet outside. I just, I want to check that real quick. Because sometimes the going out, coming back in, and having new moments. Um... Okay, nope. That was it. I remember having a conversation 
conversation with Rex in the bar. Like, I swear I have not set that one off yet. New player. Need new player. Um. Looks exactly the same as the other. That's, like, really the only thing um, I'm kind of struggling with. up to the apartment. Wow. Just, wow. Admittedly, with, when the singing started, especially with the lyrics, because, like, there are a lot of musicals that are, like, very cheesy and over the top, and, like, it's comical. So admittedly I, I like muted my mic because I was just yeah and I, I didn't want to ruin that moment in the recording so okay that's not what I wanted I want this one yeah well what, invite everyone Yes. Invite everyone. What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? Uh. Uh. All right, hang on. I still need to get ready and rethink the guest list. Of course, Commander. Please let me know when you're ready to begin preparations for your guests. Okay. Great. Okay, uh, I was wondering if that would trigger something else, and it didn't. So, all right, invite everyone. Yes. Like, why is, why, like, just, yeah, invite everyone. What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? Uh, let's have some energy. I think it's time to blow off some steam. Excellent choice, Commander. Allow me to queue up a series of popular nightclub tracks and drink lists. I will Perfect. also modify my appearance to be more festive. All right, party. Welcome. Hey, come on in. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the invite. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. Happy to be here, Shepard. Don't steal any of my stuff. Shut up. <laughs> Seriously? Alright. I can't get over the size of this apartment. The electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition. <laughs> it's not that bad. Or I funded the war. Or made a nice down payment on one of those Atlas mechs. Always one in one. Or put an air conditioner in this suit. You have no idea how hot it gets. I said I love Show me this car. So, Shepard, you can serve this swill, but hell? can you drink it? Someone has to drive you all home. <laughs> Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Don't joke. Stealing the Normandy? Now there's an idea. Don't. Wait. What? Who? Trainer, you still have your toothbrush? We can always get another Normandy. 
call up Cerberus and ask them to please build us the SR-3. But wouldn't that require you to change your name? Tali Zora von Normandy SR-3. It's Vas Normandy. Von means one who has a weak bladder, which feels appropriate right about now. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have, indeed. Hear, hear. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. And to falling in love <laughs> with the ship's captain. <laughs> oh my god, Tolly. <sighs> Hi, I'm trying to socialize. I'm not particularly good at it. Not much for big parties? Well, if I know people, sure, but some of your friends are legends. I can't just ask if they've tried the hummus. Also, Dr. Chuckwas apologizes for not being here. It's some emergency medical consult on the Citadel. Yep, don't remind me. She sent some fancy liquor though. It was great. Wish you could have had some. Yeah, the Sarah Sykes brandy is great. This is nice. I don't spend much time with everyone like this. As friends, I'm glad we could do this. Careful with that stuff, it'll knock you out. Tully, I'm glad like you're brother. able to, like, <laughs> still sit upright mostly. <laughs> Especially since you're hiccuping. Man, this music is hot. The right music sets the tone for the whole party, right, Esteban? Sure. My parties are always a little hit and miss, to be honest. Stick with me, bud. I'm a party legend. Back in school, they called me Party Vega. Golly, I hope they had t-shirts printed. Yes, I, I ran with a simple crowd. Great idea. All right. Give me one, too. Hey, Shepard. You gonna have a drink? Sure. How's everyone doing? Ask me after five more of these. Wouldn't you like I'll drink to that. Am I going to find you on the floor tomorrow morning, LT? Here's hoping. Well, that's great. I can wake you up with my Abuelas Huevos Rancheros. Hey, thanks for doing this. I kind of needed to unwind a bit, even just for a night. I think we've all learned to rest. That we have, Steve. Here's to us. And a chance to rest. Indeed. Hey, James. Having fun? I'm relaxed, but fun? I think my kindergarten graduation was more fun than this. Very funny. Don't worry. I'll see what I can do. You know if that waterfall is warm water or cold? Oh, boy. What did you think it was? What the end God, I'm drunk. I must admit. Okay, I admit. When I first heard about it, I thought Archangel was some sort of mascot for a perfume company. I'm glad I got your hopes up, Tally. When I first heard about it, I thought the Shadow Broker was a Shadow Boxer. I pictured some sort of Elcor punching bag. And that's exactly what the galaxy should keep thinking. Not that I have a personal interest in it or anything. Uh huh. You know why Cerberus is gonna lose? Demographics. You recruit a guy who's 20 and got no life, he'll work his ass off for the cause. <laughs> but do you see any old people in Cerberus? Any families? No. There's no future in a terrorist group. Here's I'm it. sure they pay, but you ever bring up vacation time? There was a brick wall. That reminds me, I heard you're going to be a father. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Be lying if I said I wasn't scared. You'll do great. You're a protector. That goes a long way. How about you, Joker? How would you turn Cerberus around? I'd make Cerberus popular. Big propaganda campaign, like I was running for president. Fundraising dinner, shaking hands, kissing babes. I think the expression you want is kissing babies. I know what I said. Uh -huh. Oh boy. How about you? You know, I miss the days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. You know, when you two ran things. Excuse me? 
The only thing I was in charge of was the Lazarus Project, which, you will note, was very successful. Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some rachni, and they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? It's one system over from where we hooked some guy up to the Geth, who then got loose and killed all our guys. They did rack up quite a body count. At least back then, it was usually their own bodies. We knew some cells were bad, but the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything, and we were doing good work. And crunches. Lots of crunches. Hey, not okay, Kasumi. But we did bring Commander Shepard back. And after taking down the Collectors, I cut ties with Cerberus, got loose, and started killing all their guys. <laughs> For which we thank you. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? Yes, and I take you on oh, missions crap. with me. And we go and we kill all their guys. Edie, up for some bad examples of human behavior? I think you mean examples of bad human behavior. Just a hint. Grammar correction? Not the best icebreaker. Jacob? Thanks for inviting me, Shepard. It's nice to see you like this. How do you like the new crew? You always attract the best. Have fun. You bet I will. Hey, Commander. Weird to see everybody here together. You think? Only a little bit. Well, weird, but good. Nice to know it's not always arm wrestling reapers with us. Anyway, thanks for putting it together. I'll try not to be too embarrassing. <laughs> Shepard. Garrus. Wow, this is quite the apartment. Seriously, you see that waterfall? And that hot tub looks like something I might want to check out later. Without you. And this was Admiral Anderson's place? Yeah, I could never live in a place like this. I'd worry about breaking the furniture. That's fair. <laughs> okay, see, y'all are laughing. Commander. Okay. But you have no plans after Edie? Someone more... Human? Uh, no. She's smart, she's funny, and she's into spaceships. You know what you want. I can respect that. Uh-huh. Commander? Okay, y'all are done. Um... Protein gatherings were nothing like this. We considered the future and respected the dead. <laughs> Sounds boring. There's usually more yelling and cursing at any gatherings I go to. Yeah. Get a bunch of Krogan together and things always get fun. And probably broken. Yeah, Don't that like sounds anything. more like it. You're right. Dumbass. These things are better when you have redundant systems and natural plate armor. Can't argue with that. Alright. So who is strongest? You or the tank braid? Yeah, I'm plenty curious myself. What'd I miss? The Prothean here wants to know who would win in a fight between me and Rex. You gotta admit, Shepard, it's a good question. It is a good question. But no, it isn't. Baby Pajak here wouldn't stand a chance. Don't listen to this fossil. The only thing he could defeat is a glass of warm milk. Do not ha! start I got fight. head lice bigger than you, Junior. You boys down talking. Yeah. Only one way to settle this. No, no. <laughs> now the party's started. Another time, guys. I don't have time to buy new furniture. Thank you. Ah, oh, just when it was getting good. Yeah, you got lucky. In my cycle. Too many people in one room risked a high casualty rate if attacked. We should all be careful. Eh, if there's more densely packed rooms than this. 50,000 years from now, no one will remember this party. What is the point? The point is for us to have fun. Beware. Something called a Kasumi is on the premises. It pretends to be invisible. Foolish primitive. Nothing escapes these eyes. Reminds me of Korra's den. Oh. Haven't been back there in a while. Well, if you're gonna start a fight, go there. I wonder if there's anything stronger behind the bar. 
<laughs> Too many things to break in here. Whoa, this Could be a fun party. What kind of music is this? That's not that club crap, is it? Glad you came up for air. Okay. Right. Shepard? Shepard? So, where'd you propose? I haven't yet. Seriously? I want to do it right. Not on some backwater rock planet with some ring pumped out of a fabricator. My plan is, Shepard gets me and Bryn into the council chamber. We do a picnic under the cherry blossoms. Then comes the question. Well, aren't you the romantic? A hundred Vulture. Sure. Better if I could shoot some kind of death ray out of my bad eye here. Yeah, that would be awesome. Alright. Um... So Joker set you free, right? Do you ever get hassled for being a real deal AI? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. <laughs> I asked directions from that bot on the way here. <laughs> Nicely done. Shepard? Saeed. Now that's a tasty So, do you have infiltration software that lets you fake being drunk? Yes, though it is rudimentary. The planned strategy was to avoid social situations where naturalism would come under scrutiny. I want to see it. You are seeing it now. Man, some Cerberus programmer phoned that one in. Yeah. Crap! Broken! Good to see you. Shepard. Brett. Nope, that was Grunt. Dang it. You got it with four eyes. Then Protheans will rule all of you. Hey. Before. Hey. Hey, Shepard. Wow. Y'all don't even greet me. Okay. Uh, Your guests appear to be getting rowdy, Commander. Would you like me to change the intensity of the atmosphere? Let's get louder? Party's just starting. Let's turn it up. At your service, Commander. I love the little bow tie. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, sweetheart. We never really talked about it, but you and me have a lot in common. We do. Of course we do. We're both hunters, right? I suppose we are. And? And, well, and we're both good looking. Hello, Shepard. Zaid was just keeping me company. Hello there. You're admiring the art? Beauty, as they say, is in the eye of the beholder. Hey, Shepard. Hey, beautiful. What do you think, Samara? Hang on, hang on. Don't get all snooty on me. I didn't say I didn't like it. I do like it, actually. If I'm completely honest, I'm not sure what it is. I like the way the colors blend. And the depth of the... Actually, I have no idea what I'm saying. It makes me feel uneasy. Like when you're alone in the dark, lying in wait, and the cold wind brushes across your face like the kiss of death. <laughs> you are a complicated individual, Aid Masani. You bet your sweet Asari ass. I'm gonna feel this in the morning. I was gonna say, this kind of makes me think of, like, the Alliance council chambers, like, right at the beginning, right as the Reaper laser goes through and breaks the window. That's what it makes me think of. So, you're leading the Grissom Academy students? Yeah. That a problem? Just a surprise. 
Your psych profile suggested you were mainly interested in yourself. You're telling me I'm only interested in myself? <laughs> oh, that's just fucking perfect. Did it occur to you that maybe I'm trying to grow as a goddamn person? Oh, I could tell you were growing. I assumed it was whatever that is you're wearing. Oh, these? Well, yeah. They were strapped down with a leather belt before. It's kind of a stupid move to show off your rack in the middle of a maximum security prison ship. I never had the pleasure. You'd never survive. You might break a nail. You have no idea what I'm capable of. You're a spoiled rich girl cheerleader. Victim. Test tube clone princess. I think it's past your bedtime. Oh, did I hit a nerve? I didn't get to read your psych profile. You two playing nice? Ladies, I see we've all gotten enough to drink. Relax, Shepard. I'm not gonna smear the walls with her this time. And I couldn't possibly think of anything worse to do to her than that haircut. Hey, cheerleader. My hair and I have been fighting brutes and marauders on the front lines of this war. Meanwhile, you got your big bubbly butt kicked by some guy with a sword. You see, Shepard? Best of friends. Honestly, off. I thought it might help if you two just kissed and got it over with. What? I mean, this is all just sexual tension, right? Two powerful biotics, forceful personalities, <laughs> confident in their sexuality. You are shitting me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm ready to record. I'm pretty sure there's a market for this. Yep. Kasumi, I will find you and I will hurt you badly. Ugh. I need another drink. One for me too. No ice. Yep. Don't worry, Shepard. The cheerleader and I are just messing around. Uh-huh. You sure? You two seem pretty serious. Nah. She fights better when she's pissed off. I'm just trying to keep her primed. You know, this, this supports my argument. I heard there's a big party in there. Can we come in? No, you can't. Go away. How's it going over here? You can't come in. It's going good. I see that. Anyone interesting trying to get in? Not yeah. really. No. Get lost. <laughs> nope. No. Can I try that? Sure. <laughs> Press this button and say no. No. Great work. No good. Thanks. No. See. Easy. Keep up the good work. Will do. I told you already. No! Yes, I like pie. And no, you can't come in. You're hilarious. Okay. Who is... Is anyone back here? No. No one's over here. Worst planet to get shot down over? We're talking pre-war? Pre-war, life-bearing worlds only. I'm going with Tarith. Garden world, yes, but it's got those chlorine swamps. I will see your Tarith and raise you Azoria. Home of toxic spores and athletes long. Neither of you'd last a day on Tuchanka. And Tuchanka supports life. I think you meant to say consumes. Yeah. That's the point. It's got critters that'll rip your guts out. Well, assuming it's a crash in the Kodiak, I'll have my arms locker. Bring on the wildlife. Hey guys, Duck and Chop. No worries, this is fun for us. So, you don't have a sidearm under your pilot's chair? The weapons locker is on the bridge, practically right there. A weapon you can't get to is no weapon at all. When's the last time you trained with a handgun? <laughs> Sometime before I got the ass-kicking robot as my co-pilot. That's no good. And what if you have to save Edie someday? Unacceptable. You should always train. Pilots are warriors, too. You know what this is? It's a man emergency. Take this kid out back and make him do target practice. Exactly. Some range time will fix you up. Right, Commander? 
You are not taking me shooting. My testosterone levels are plenty high. I fly a deadly war machine, remember? You first. Nah. It is important that you're able to actually shoot things. Joker, I'm surprised at you. What about the collector attack? The bridge can get dangerous. Hey, they totally proved my point. If I'd fired off a shot then, I would have been mobbed. The real weapon is your brain. Take that away, you got nothing. Still would have been nice to have a little backup at the sushi bar. You know, there's a combat simulator on the Citadel. Hell no. Maybe a shooting range if we're not letting this go. Maybe. But not while I'm wasted. Or hungover. Hungover is the perfect time to train. Makes you angry at every loud noise. Cortez, you're on. If you're in condition to take me there, you can. But tonight, you gotta match me shot for shot. All right. Great party. I'd better see you out on the dance floor later. Uh, we'll see. Yep, because I totally dance. Absolutely. Biotics are impressive. I'm not saying they aren't. You're just saying that they're not that impressive. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. Oh, shit. No, it's fine. I'm sure no one here is insulted. Maybe. What are you trying to say, James? I'm just saying. <sighs> what I'm trying to say is... I mean, check out these guns. Biotics can't give you this kind of fine instrument. The peak physical form that you see before you. Okay, uh -huh. you work for it. I get that. I mean it. Check me out. Hmm, not sure if I can tell just by looking. Is there more to your argument? Come on in closer. Don't be shy. <laughs> yeah, don't be shy. Hey, what's going on here? Everyone playing nice? Of course, Shepard. James was just explaining how physical conditioning trumps biotics. Really? You going there, James? Come on, loco. You have to go with me on this one. You biotics you're... are strong, but unpredictable. All that cooling down. Shepard, where did you find this guy? I wouldn't call my biotics unpredictable. I don't think the Reapers would either. A person can improve their physique, but biotics... They are what they are. He's joking. Right, James? I mean, what's your point exactly? Okay, okay. Maybe it's not conditioning exactly. Maybe it's just the condition of one James Vega. Come on, Ashley. Hey, Liara. Check it out. This guy here never has to cool down. In fact, the hotter, the better. Hilarious. Just hush and do some sit up. Kasumi. Just looking. <laughs> uh, goddess. Nope. James, this is a no-brainer. Biotics win, hands down. We're talking about harnessing dark energy here. Yeah, I hear you. Look around you. That had to be an argument you couldn't win. It's okay, man. Yeah, well, you win some, you lose some. Ashley, you couldn't back me up? Not without closer inspection. Yeah? Huh. I think I can make that happen. Okay, then. Okay. More drinks? Snacks? Help yourselves. That made it look like Ashley was saying that. All right. Specialist trainer, may I ask you a question? You can ask me anything, Edie. When you believed me to be a simple VI, you made comments about my voice. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> Should I find somewhere else to be? No! No, no, no. I wanted to ask you about... Uh, weren't you saying something about the Normandy's drive core? Uh, Man. no. Could you? I wish to understand why you find my voice sexually attractive. Oh, that was a while ago. I can't even remember what I said exactly. She does. Would you like me to play back my recordings of your statements? It's all true. Tolly, please stop helping. <laughs> Hello. 
What's wrong, you dude? I am asking Specialist Trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. This is a really good cheese, Shepard. I put some in through the filters. Is it organic? On one occasion, you said that you wanted to, quote, pin my voice against the wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. Well, uh, there's a context there that... Uh, you were talking about quantum entanglement, and I didn't know you were an AI. There's some kind of herb in the cheese that I can't quite place. Is it sage or basil? Anyway, I was just joking. You know, stress of the retrofits and... Really? My diagnostics suggested that you were genuinely aroused. I'm so sorry, it's Tolly. It's really rare to get herbed dextro cheeses. The Turians almost never bother. You have diagnostics. Cerberus programmed you to check body language. I get more reliable results measuring pupil dilation and thermal readings of erogenous zones. Oh, good lord. Wait, this is dextro cheese, right? Kila, did I forget to scan the cheese? This is why I don't drink. Fair is fair, Trainer. Edie has a right to ask about what you said. I do. I was very interested in Trainer's ability to develop sexual feelings for what was, at the time, a bodiless voice. You are all terrible. Edie... Tally tried. I apologize for saying that I wanted to roll naked with your voice in satin sheets. Oh, I, I need some offended. bad cheese time. In fact, it was flattering. Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. Oh, that wasn't out loud. Never mind. <laughs> don't mind me. I'm just going to run a toxin treatment program so I don't die. Sounds good. Sounds good. I'm just going to sit here quietly and hope someone changes the subject. That's Awkward. fair. Awkward. Well, that was mortifying. Tell me about it. You need not be embarrassed. Sexual attraction is natural for organics. And given your orientation and interest in synthetics... We can... We can stop talking about this whenever you like. I practically poisoned myself with cheese trying to change the subject. If you are interested, I have a list of extranet sites involving romantic relationships between organics and synthetics. No! No, 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 no! <laughs> no, you can't even... <laughs> no! Oh, okay, sure. Send it my way. Oh. <laughs> All right, no one's hiding back here. All right, you know what? Um, I think this is a good place for me to go ahead and pause the party. I want to thank you all so much for tuning into this episode. And in the meantime, in between time, take care, have fun, and happy trails.